Since Frontiers, many of the older parts have been categorized as legacy parts and are no longer available for new players or new saves. The reason why this was done is still unclear and no explanation was given. For the players that do have access to the legacy parts, you will have a tab at the end of this menu with all the legacy parts included. But this will not show up for any new game or for new players. There is however a way to get these unlocked if you are on PC. For this, we need to have the save editor by Goat Fungus installed. The file can be found and downloaded from this link, which I will be sharing in the description of the video. To download the file, click on code right here and select download zip. The file is no larger than 60 MB and should be downloaded to your download folder. To be able to use the editor, you will have to extract the zip file that we just downloaded. Don't worry yet about the location, you can simply extract it in the download folder. Once extracted, you can now move and place this folder wherever you see fit. In the folder, you will find an executable Java file. The first time you open the save editor, it will ask you for the location of the saved files. You should normally find them in this location. Select the save file and that should now allow you to select your saves and the save editor here. I have a whole list of saves here, but we are looking for the one we just started and saved. And that is this creative save here. Selecting the file will now activate the tabs needed to change it. Each of these tabs will now allow you to edit your save file and change specifics like ships, multi-tools, slots and so on. In this guide, we only want to focus on the legacy parts and how to add them to our save. This can be found under the tab Discovery. If you are planning on doing any changes to the other tabs, I would advise cause, as some mistakes can make your game broken or corrupted. So it is wise to make backups of your save files before doing any drastic or ignorant changes. Under the Discoveries tabs, you can find separate sections and these are all linked to different parts of your discoveries, which are technology, words, products and glyphs. For the legacy parts, you need to be in the Known Products section. These are blueprints and recipes, language per race, and then the portal glyphs. If we click on here, category, we will now sort our products accordingly and we can see what building parts we already have unlocked. Currently, there are no legacy parts available here, so we will have to add them. That we can do by clicking this button here, Add Products. A window will show with the available building blueprints, including the ones we already have discovered. Again, we can click here to sort out the category, as then all building parts will be grouped together. As all building parts are in here, it will be hard to figure out which parts you are missing. The good thing is that you cannot have duplicate parts in your building menu, so it's just easier to select all of the building parts in the list. This will however add all parts to your menu, even the Quicksilver items and the Derelict Freighter parts. So if you rather only have the legacy parts unlocked, then you will have to go over the list and add only these items. In this case, we just will select all of them and then press the Add button here at the bottom of this window. This should now have added all the missing parts in our known products. Once that is done, we just need to save the file here. And when loading up the game and save, we can now see if we were successful. Once the game is loaded, we can check our build menu and there you can see that a new tab has been added. All legacy parts are now available to you to build with again. Once again, you can see that also the other parts have been added as well, being it the decals, the posters, even the bubble pipes and quicksilver items, and also the derelict freighter parts. And this is how you add your legacy parts into your new saves. Sadly, this is only PC and you cannot do this on any console. I am still unsure what the goal was by Hello Games by removing these from the menu. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this guide, then please press that thumbs up. I will see you all next time. This was Beeblebum. Goodbye for now.